Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm gonna show you what to do if the Qualcomm Bluetooth driver is not working on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to reinstall the Bluetooth drivers. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options. And now in here, what you have to do is expand the Bluetooth section, then right click on your Bluetooth device and select the Uninstall Device option. Now once again, click on Uninstall to confirm this procedure. And then what you have to do is restart your computer. So close this window, click on the Start button, head over to the Power icon and select the Restart option. And afterwards, just go back again to Device Manager by right click clicking the Windows button and selecting it from the option menu and in the device manager window right click on the Bluetooth category and select the scan for hardware changes. This will automatically reinstall the drivers for you and you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update your PC. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and then on the left pane click on Windows Update and afterwards on the right side click on the Check for Updates button. Now if there will be any updates showing up, make sure to download and install them and then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update the Bluetooth driver. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options and in here in this window make sure to expand Bluetooth, right click on your problematic device and select the update driver option. Now click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best available drivers for your PC. You can then close your windows and restart this computer and check if the problems still persist. And lastly, another useful solution is to restart the Bluetooth support service. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in services and select it as an application from the search results. Now in here, scroll down until you will find the Bluetooth support service, then right click on the Bluetooth support service and click on the restart option. This will restart this service and then you can check if the problem still persists. Afterwards, you can just close this window, restart your computer and get on with it. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching.